Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I have um, a little bit of shopping that I've done, not an unboxing. Um, these came from our local sort of budget supermarket. Um, I've got a couple of little Scotty Dog things as well that I've got from the craft stores. And I've got the package to open as well. So I just thought I'd um, do all these at once, otherwise it'd only be like a five minute video. Um, I know YouTube wants YouTube shorts, but I think they're in seconds rather than minutes. Okay, so these are crystal creations. Um, there are over 6,000 crystals sorted into individual colour compartments. Um, a designer crystal stylus, silicon gum and self-adhesive stand-up canvas. So I thought we'd have a look at these. Uh, they're lovely for getting somebody started into uh, diamond painting, crystal art. Um, you've got all your instructions on the back. They're in like a, a book format, it opens out. And I just thought, well, for the money, they were great. Um, there are various different prices, and I've seen them in the UK Works. Um, and I think some stores at the range do them as well. But uh, I think they're aimed more maybe, I don't know, it's the younger end of the market. But, I mean, they're still a diamond painting, they're still... Uh, a nice uh, item to have and I just as you know tigers for uh, our whole whole city Um, how does this come off here then let me have a look oh I see it's stuck on the grobless scissors I was gonna say it's supposed to be a stand-up canvas and I can't get it off the box <laughs> oh there it is so all oh, right okay so it's a bit like one of those picture frames then it's just got oh that's very very flimsy very flimsy that i should think isn't even oh got a dirty finger there got that from packaging somewhere um isn't even maybe a 200 250 gsm if you're lucky um so yeah that's not a very good uh, cardboard there let's just fold this back on itself okay just folds back that's it that way and then you just have your little Stand there that folds so that it stands up. Yeah, that's standing up okay. And then all your drills go on the front. Okay, so I say a nice present. So I, th I think I'll be doing these myself. I can't see me giving away a tiger, but you never know. Um, you've got a lovely clear uh, key code down here, and it's all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one, that number ten's a little bit uh, dodgy. It's number 10 say there and then a little dot for number 12 but yeah I mean the drill field is really really clear so yeah that is uh, pretty good it's like a partial Um, the background isn't diamond painted you've not got well it's a full crystal actually um, but you've not got any crystals to go. oh all right it's textured don't know whether the camera will pick that up but yeah it pick it up it's like a textured card so it's rough to the touch which is quite nice just an extra little bit and um, as you can see it doesn't diamond paint right to the edges so if you are wanting to put it into a picture frame then you're not going to be covering your diamonds up um, which is a good idea which is nice Let's see if I can just get that bit of tape off there yeah I'll just peel off there Oh gosh, it's a huge bit of tape. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't tell me this goes all the way up the front. Oh, for goodness sake. That's a bit of overkill. And now I've left a sticky mark. <laughs> oh dear. Might as well take the rest of it off now. We'll have to get my um, D sticker out on that. But never mind. Okay, so let's have a look at this side. How do we get into this side? Has this got a great big piece of sellotape going right across the top as well? Looks like it could have. Let's just uh, get this one. I've seen a couple of people doing these, but I've not seen one unboxed yet. So I'm quite interested to see what the quality is. But I think this is only about £4. Which, uh, I mean, for £4, you can't go wrong. Look at the pen, okay, so it's a single place of pen, which is your normal sort of pen, but look at that. Got a lovely uh, sparkly gem on the end there. 
so that's quite nice and it's not bad actually to hold you could put one of your um, pe pen holders on it then i'm sure i've got a green one somewhere that'd go quite nicely it sort of fits in with the theme the green with the uh, background of the tiger we've got a teeny tiny piece of wax and then we've got some Ooh, look at those by number 12 i think they must be for the middle of the eyes then yeah so you've got like a, an a b really oil on water that one look you can see the sparkling away Ooh, sparkle 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 okay and then you've got all your different colors you've got a sort of brownie color there you've got your blacks so no dmc numbers um but so uh, yeah there'll be no oh yeah number two i can say there is a number on it but of course it's the number Got a number three so the nice clear numbers but as i say i'm a little bit dubious of these when they put black on sticky packets because if you're not careful they do tend to rub off a little bit and this sort of brown color lots of nice tiger colors i thought they'd be a bit brighter sort of orange or amber in this but it's quite a I think a realistic tiger type feel to it. Okay, I won't go through the rest. I think you can sort of see the colours there. So, 11 different colours and then just the two for the eyes in the middle. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that, I think, for the price I've paid. I say anybody starting out or just even as a little project, if you're up, if you, yeah, let's go that way. If you want to take it uh, away on holiday with you, that's uh, lovely. But I love that picture nice tiger okay so that's the tiger oops let's just put the scissors away and then we have the wolf it's the wolf it's the wolf and i just thought he was quite nice as well now he's got some very strange looking colors um actually on the canvas when i first opened it up i thought oh dear there's a lot of red and green here but i think once he's um done the colors as you can see although we have got quite a few pinks and reds that i'm not going to open this one out and um, we've got a blue pen with this one with a pink jewel in it so that's quite nice 12 colors again so it looks like we've got 11 of your different gems and then just your middles for your eyes not sure whether i'll use them i don't know whether they might look a bit strange i'll have to see when they're done um it might be better having a black and then i think i mentioned in one of my previous videos just using sort of a white marker pen and just putting a tiny dot on a black dot uh, on a black drill a larger black drill and it just gives that effect of like a, a sparkly eye with just the white reflection on it rather than using the gems because some you know I, I don't know whether the oil on water might just make it look a bit starey and a bit freaky and uh, yeah we'll see so this one again has got a board around it the same the sky in the background is uh again oh it's rough it's, yeah it does feel like an actual canvas it's quite um well i'm surprised i expected it to be sort of like the box you know like a shiny cardboard but it's not it is actually like a proper canvas which is quite nice so yeah so that's the two i've got so i think some places were doing them two for six pound at one bit but i didn't get that offer um i think i paid four pound each for these but uh, yeah, you've got a nice pen to use afterwards and I would think there'll be some drills left over. There looks plenty in there, but I will do them and let you see them. OK, so that's those two that I got. Um, and then not diamond painting, but just some little extras that I've got. I've got myself a little Scotty Dog Christmas tree toy. Oh dear, I said to see where, but I do apologise. just thought this was really really sweet it says merry christmas like stamped like um a wine container you know when you get the crates with wine in and things oops let's just move that way a bit that's better <laughs> and he's got a little bell on his little painted uh, collar there and then we've just got a lovely love heart and a couple of uh, little beads there on the wire but i thought he was quite sweet and i, I do collect scotty stuff i have got quite a few scotty items and um, but yeah i just thought oh well i'm gonna have that that will go on our tree or even be hung on the wall possibly but yeah so that was uh, 
just one of my little purchases I thought I'd show you and then the other I did go to Hobbycraft and um, I wanted some of my new uh, A3 and A4 folders sorry A2 and A3 uh, storage folders for my diamond paintings um, and they had these little Scotty dogs and again they're like Christmas so I'll tell you what I'll just cut it open because I'm not gonna fight with it <laughs> And these are like, they're like um, a little bit of felt, really thick felt. But uh, yeah, I just thought they were really cute and to go into my Scotty collection. Um, these are another sort of thing that I buy and I think, oh, I'm going to put those on cards or on gifts or something. And then I end up keeping them all. <laughs> but anyway, so that's, uh, you get, I think it was about 80 pence or 90 pence for the set of four but I thought they were really sweet so I had to have those and of course I had to get two packs yeah so I've got eight little Scotties but actually they are quite thick and they are quite sturdy so I may even make these into cover minders that would be quite nice during my uh, Christmas cover, uh, I don't know, Christmas diamond paintings got somebody else's teeth in today I think um, and make them into cover minders yay so that's some more little Scotty dogs. So that's just a little aside to show you what I do buy things other than diamond paintings. And then my little delivery that came today. Now these came from AliExpress. I don't know if you remember, I did an unboxing on this. It was a set that's got storage for pens at the end there. And it came with the little storage jars. And it's just like a little kit container to put your drills in. This has got my Christmas wreath, um, my Robin Christmas wreath that I uh, unboxed a while ago. Um, still kitted up in it because again, that's another one. I'm still doing drills and chills. I'm up to 32 projects now. Yay! Um, so yeah, 32 projects. So I've beat my 31 in 31 days. So I'm just going to see how many I can get completed now. But I did like this and I just thought I don't want to buy, buy another one of these. This came from Amazon with all the bottles and it had uh, pens with it and all sorts of accessories. I just wanted this. So I thought, right, I'm going to see if I can just buy the base and see if they just sell them separately. And they do. So I went on AliExpress and I got two. Um, now, looking at the box size... They're not quite the same as I was expecting. So they're actually called a lipstick rack, if you can see there. It's actually called a lipstick rack. So if you want to look for them on uh, AliExpress or on Amazon or anywhere. Um, so that's what they've actually been designed for, I suppose, for the beauty industry. Quite a lot of crafting items actually are designed for the uh, beauty industry. Um, and I thought, well, I'll just get a little eight. So it's exactly the same as... I'll get this open. Oops. Okay. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the other one that I've got. But it's got eight in it. And I ordered the same colour as well, because I thought we might as well match. They do do different colours in these. You've got your end there that you can put your pens or your scissors or whatever in, something a bit smaller. And then I got the, is this a 16? Can't remember what this one is. And then they do do a bigger one and a smaller one. Um, I'm not quite sure what you would do with a smaller one. But I suppose if you've got, say, a mobile business or you're displaying them on a counter, then you maybe would want a smaller one. So let's have a look at this one. How many have we got on this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yep, yeah, so this is the same size as the other one. And oops. Oh, yeah, crinkly plastic. It's off, it's off. So you don't get the bottles with them. But I have got an awful lot of spare bottles. Oops, let me just uh, get one of my containers out. So I can just put my bottles in these. And as I say, I do like these because 
they do hold your bottles, they do hold your drills. Um, they take the two different sizes, the slightly thicker ones and the slightly thinner ones. And I just thought, well, so that's a really good purchase. They're not quite the same colour look, they're like a slightly duller green, uh, but that's okay. But yeah, I think I will put the, um, the details down below, but I think they were only about £3 each, something like that. And I usually have some spare containers hanging around. I mean, I've got spare ones on here, so I could actually use these, you know, when I'm not uh, doing them, uh, using them. But yeah, so I just thought they were pretty good. And then I've got a really teeny tiny one. Um, so if you've, say, got one of your cases, you've got a 30 case and your canvas is a 32 or a 34 and you don't want to use your 60 case or you haven't got one available you could just stick your extra four bottles in there your extra two bottles in there and use that and then they're still quite secure and still easily accessible rather than using bags um or putting them somewhere else i think they're very portable very good so i'm quite pleased with my little purchases uh, just my little shopping spree for today just thought I'd uh, share it with everybody and uh, just show you what I've got. So we've got two of my little blocks, 16 and an 8. I may get the bigger one, I don't know, because I think if you're going bigger than an 18, you may as well use your 30 case. Um, but yeah, I'll think about that. But if I do get one, I will let you know. And then I've got my lovely tiger and my lovely wolf. Okay, there you are. And we have to top it all top it all off with the Scotty dog. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this quick little video just to show you some bits and pieces that I've been buying. Um, if you have, if you just want to press the like button for me, I'd uh, be most grateful. And if you want to come back and see these done and see what I buy or get up to next, then if you subscribe, come and join us. Um, you'll be able to be notified of when my next videos come out. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.